Hello everyone. Today I will walk through over the Spring Boot admin and client application. So uh, let's start with the basic creating application. So uh, as you guys are aware with the Spring Initializer, I will not take uh, much time creating application here. So as you uh, know uh, the how to create application in Spring start.spring.io. So main important thing is like uh, when we are creating a Spring Boot admin server, what all the dependencies is required. So basically we need a web dependency, web server, then is a admin server. When you have a admin server, you can say admin server, then you need a security. Then you need a, a mail uh, if you want to integrate with the notifications. So this is the uh, dependencies which is required to create a Spring Boot admin server. So uh, I already created an application. Uh, using this uh, all dependencies so I'll directly jump into a, my uh, own application. So if you look at it here see uh, whatever the dependencies which I selected there so already uh, I've imported the server here admin server here the project which I imported all the information are present here. So you can see all the dependencies which I shown in the initializer, which is important here. So the next uh, important aspect here is like when we open a main application. So here you can see you have to annotate with the Spring admin server to enable or to act it as an admin server. So we have to annotate with the Spring, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, enable admin server annotation okay and rest is the same as a spring boot application and just a configuration uh, for the whole application and also i have added a one security config file uh, it's just like a, a any other normal uh, security config which you add for the uh, spring boot applications so just to uh, redirect to the login and logout pages with the basic uh, security feature in place and the third part is like when I uh, go to the application dot properties here I configured my server dot port is 8090 and the application name is admin server and here uh, this is very important. So I have given a security uh, username and password for my admin. So it is like whenever um, I open a spring admin server so it will redirect to me a login page and it will ask me username and password that username and password is admin and admin so let's run this uh, application so to remember like i am running it on 8090 port so let's see uh, once the application starts so we'll hit 8090 port Yes, it started and it's showing that port 8090 is active and running. So if I go here directly, so, so you can see that uh, if I directly go to just type it 8090, it will redirect to me a login. Already I added like admin and admin username and password. Now just I will log in. See, uh, now once we log in, you can see the Spring Boot admin and the applications, all the information. Now it is showing us application 0 instance 0 because we are not created any client application as of now. It's just a, a plain Spring Boot admin server application. Okay. So now the next uh, task is to how we need to connect any client to the server. So we need to create a, a one more Spring Boot application. So I just like show you the what all the dependencies which you might need. Uh, for a uh, admin server and the client so now we are into the client so now we can uh, use uh, like uh, see here it is showing admin client and rest everything you can keep it as a, a same uh, from the admin server what you have uh, all the information of a dependencies and one more you need to have is a uh, actuator information so actuator information is nothing but uh, this is the dependency which gives you the all the information about the client like health info uh, manage uh, all the endpoints which we it will expose to you so uh, 
uh, as i said before i already created application so i'll let me open that application uh, one application is like tech client so see uh, the security and the actuator and the web and admin client these are the basic dependencies which need needed for the client application okay so uh, this is the first part in the client application now let's move for the implementation of site see in the client application i have not done anything extra apart from those dependencies then we have to come to the application dot properties see in the application dot properties this port is running on on 8081 and the name is tech client now you can see spring boot admin client url so this is nothing but the what the url of my admin application is running so if you see it here my application is running on localhost 8090 the same i have provided here and the next entry is management dot endpoints dot web dot exposure dot encore see this is nothing but uh, uh, i want to include all the endpoints which uh, actuator provides to us so i want to show everything so i put it as a star so here you can include and exclude both the options uh, you can do uh, based on the your need so and there is like health show details always so i want to show the details always and the one more uh, important entry is here is like if you can see there is a spring boot admin client username and the password which is admin and admin which the same we configured in uh, admin server properties as well so now uh, let's uh, try to run this uh, tech application client application so now i don't have anything here application is still running you can see that so uh, you can see that the port is started on 8081 now let's look at the application see now automatically whenever there is a, a new client adds to the server with the particular URL which is provided in the application dot properties file so now the tech client is registered with the admin server so if you look at it here you can go inside and you can check uh, all the information like whatever the disk space everything which will provide currently it is very uh, minimal information it is there because we are not added anything uh, all those things here maybe uh, to have a more information i'll just try to run one more uh, client application which so let's try to run uh, one more client here I just started a client application see uh, still here we can see only one application only one instance and that is up and running as we uh, see a tech client application so let's see uh, whether we are able to add a, one more client to the existing admin server or not yes it is added now so now you can see here uh, the one more application called Kafka consumer publisher is added so if we go inside to it so let's see what all things we can see it here see uh, all the health information here you can see all the endpoints like actuator health actuator and how many uh, space the space threads is running garbage collection processors memory heap non memory heap metrics you can create all the uh, information and environment variables all the uh, like which port it is running all the information we can see it here the beans jmx beans it's, it will interact through the uh, jmx beans basically so these all information uh, you can explore and uh, you can customize as per uh, your need see, see here you can logger here all uh, you can change the logger information on the fly so uh, you can configure everything it here and lot more information so basically uh, the spring boot admin server is used to manage and monitor the uh, spring boot applications uh, uh, suppose if you have a n number of spring boot application like kind of a microservices and it's it, it's be going to be very difficult for you to go and look into uh, each 
microservice or each spring boot application for the all the information uh, but using a spring boot admin it is a lot more easier now so that uh, uh, through the web interface uh, we all uh, will come to know all the information about the all the services which is uh, registered to the admin here you can see the all board like how many uh, service are registers how many instances are running about it and everything you can see it here uh, so uh, yes friends uh, this is the basic information which i wanted to give about spring boot admin server and the client uh, please uh, let me know if you have any questions regarding the configurations and how to make it up run and in the next video i'll try to show the same applications uh, with uh, how to run it in the pcf Piotel cloud foundry